In this video, I'll show you how to connect your iPhone 16 Plus, Pro and Pro Max to your TV using an HDMI cable. This way you won't use any Wi-Fi or any wireless feature. So let's get started. You'll need one of these USB Type-C to HDMI adapter. Now, I didn't test them all to know if they work. Uh, I'm using this pluggable for a few years. If you checked other videos of mine, you're gonna see even two years ago I was using it. Has been very reliable. I'll put a link in the description. But there's many other brands. This is not the only one, obviously. So you're gonna connect this USB Type-C to your iPhone, first of all, like that. And then you're gonna connect a HDMI cable on the other way. I have this one. That is a pretty basic one. I don't even know which brand it is, to be honest. But I'll put the links in the description from Amazon if you want to get one. So I'll go ahead and connect it to this adapter. And the other end, which is an HDMI male, well, I'll connect it in the back of the TV. This TV only have two different HDMI ports, it does not matter in which one of these you connect. Even if you have three or four ports, just choose one of them and connect. Like that. Just make sure to remember the number of that port. So in this case, it was HDMI 1. So now that everything is connected, you're gonna take your remote control and you're gonna select as an input HDMI 1. Mine is over here, depending on your TV, it may look differently. I'll select HDMI 1. And here we go. The iPhone is now casting whatever is on the screen to my TV. Only using this HDMI cable and adapter. And one of the good thing about this is comparing to using AirPlay or Wi-Fi, this has less lag. There's still a lag, I don't know if you see, but it's a lot more minimal. So this means that you may be able to play some games. And from the, there, you just uh, use your iPhone if you want to watch something. All right, let's pick one of these video. Hey, it's mine. That's funny. Um, if you put it full screen, you'll be able to play the video this way. Now you see here, it's not full HD, right? It just takes some time, sometimes two, three seconds be before it becomes full HD. And depending on your TV, it, you could have some limitation. Even if I zoom in into my video, you see it does not use the full screen of my TV, although it's full screen on my iPhone. Even if you're browsing the web, sometimes the the web page will not take the full screen you'll still have some bars this is pretty usual but overall this is it when you're done you just have to disconnect and you're good to go so thanks for watching i hope this was useful if so please leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video